Divi has finally released Divi AI, meaning that you can now build out your website pages using AI generated text and images. Not only do you have the advantage of using one of the best WordPress visual page builders, but now you can further improve your workflow, creativity, and enhance the way that you create content on your WordPress website. And today I'm excited to share how you can get up and running with Divi AI to build stunning website pages. Okay, so before we go ahead and dive into Divi, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and launch into this Divi AI tutorial. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into Divi AI. Now, in order to enable Divi AI, you do need to have either the Divi theme installed onto your WordPress website or the Divi page builder. And then you can access Divi AI from the visual page builder. Now, if you're completely new to the Divi theme or Divi page builder plugin to build out your WordPress website pages, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description, which will help you get started with Divi. Now to learn more or sign up to Divi and Divi AI, what we're going to do is head over to elegantthemes.com forward slash AI, or feel free to click the link in our description below this video. And that's going to take you here. Then simply navigate up to get Divi AI. And that's going to take you here. And if you're completely new to Divi, you can go ahead and get started with Divi here. Or if you're currently a Divi user, then navigate down here. And this is where you can sign up to Divi AI. Now, if you already have Divi installed onto your WordPress website, then you can actually access Divi AI completely for free 100 times. Then once you've exhausted this, you will need to upgrade to a paid plan if you want to continue using Divi AI. And that's going to give you unlimited text generation as well as unlimited image generation. Also, all your team members can access Divi AI. So the great thing is, is you can access Divi AI and test out all their premium features before deciding if Divi AI is right for you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is head back to my website where I already have Divi installed. Okay, so let's go ahead and navigate through all of Divi AI's current features. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and enable the visual builder. And on this page, what I'm going to do is navigate down and look for an image that I want to replace with AI. So here's an image here. What I'm going to do is simply click on this image element. Now let's go ahead and expand this widget out. Okay, so under image settings, what we can do is navigate over to image and you'll see this AI icon pop up. What we can do is click here and then we have a few options. We can generate this image with AI and we can also improve with AI. Okay, so because I kind of like this image, what I'm going to do is go ahead and improve this image with AI first. Then here we have a few options before we can improve this image with AI. If we navigate up to image style and click here, here you can choose the style of image that you want to create. At the moment we have photo selected. However, I could select digital painting, vector graphic, 3D render, drawing, or more down here. I'm going to navigate up to photo and keep photo selected and then navigate down to image description. This is where we can add the prompt describing the type of image that we want to create. However, what I'm going to do is navigate over to AI and click here. And that's going to generate a prompt purely using AI. Now the amazing and powerful thing about Divi AI is it understands your website and learns how to create better content using AI. So it already understands how my website is structured and the type of content that I have on this website page. And therefore from this AI learning, this prompt has been generated. And as you can see, it's relevant to my website page, a small business owner using a laptop and surrounded by digital marketing tools and media. So I'm happy with that. Then we can navigate down to the reference image and down here we have reference image influence. So remember what we're doing is taking this image and we're improving it with AI. So what we can do is we can increase the influence that this reference image has. I'm going to drag this out to 50%. Give Divi AI a moment to generate four images using AI. 
then what I can do is select one of these images and I can use this image in my content by simply navigating down and clicking use this image. Now I can also generate more images like this one. So for example, if I like the look of this, but I wanted to create other variations, then I can simply navigate down and click on generate more like this one. Now I'm not actually too happy with these images because they look too similar to my existing image. So what I can do is navigate down to modify selected image and I can generate four more photos or I can change the style of the content again if I like. Then what we can do is navigate down to new description and we can redefine the prompt that was originally added to create these images. Okay, so I don't like any of these. So what I'm actually gonna do is exit out of this and then navigate down to this image again and then click on AI and I just want to generate with AI. Then what I'm gonna do is navigate up to image style and keep photos selected. Then under image description, again, I'm gonna go ahead and click on AI. Because remember, we want to optimize our workflow by leveraging AI to generate content for us based on our website page. So Divi AI has gone ahead and added this prompt based on my website page and the content that already exists. I'm happy with that. I can also navigate down and upload a reference image. Remember, we used this as a reference image in the last example. And then down here, we can change the aspect ratio if we like. I'm gonna keep square selected and then navigate down and click on generate. And as you can see, based on that prompt, AI has gone ahead and generated these four images. Again, I can come down and generate more like this one if I select a specific image, and I can also use a particular image if I like any of these. What I'm gonna do is navigate down and click on generate four more. And now I have these eight images to choose from. I'm going to select this image here and then navigate down and I want to generate four more, but this time I'm gonna select photo and then click on concept art. And as you can see, we now have these concept art images generated. I'm gonna navigate down and redefine my prompt and add, please create an image with a cafe business owner standing in front of her cafe holding coffee. And this is because I want to add a photo that's relevant for small business owners. This website is a digital media and marketing agency that focuses on helping small businesses transition online. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on regenerate. And as you can see, these are the images that are generated. Now, what I'm gonna do is navigate down to concept art and click on photo and see what Divi AI is going to generate. And I really like the look of these images. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this image here and then come down and click on use this image. And I'm happy with that. Now, just quickly before I get back to this video, I just wanna mention my all-in-one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now, the ultimate small business playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners, new and existing, that are looking for a clear-cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities, and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. Now, what I'm going to do is navigate down to this image here, and what I want to do is actually modify this image with AI. So I'm going to navigate up here and click on settings, and then with this image, I'm going to navigate over to AI, and then come down and click on reimagine. And that's going to recreate that existing image that I have in my footer. And again, I can use any of these images. Now what I'm gonna do is exit out of that and navigate back down to this image and click on AI. And under quick actions, what we can do is generate and replace instantly. We can reimagine like I just showed you, and we can also change the image style. So we can go ahead and select any of these options and straight away we can generate this image in a different style. Then we can also upscale two times or four times larger. Now what I'm going to do is navigate up to improve with AI and then navigate up to image description and then add, please add a busy street behind the woman in the photo. So I just wanna change the context of this image and change the environment. So I wanna make sure that I have photo still selected for image style. Then down here for the reference image influence, I'm gonna keep 30% selected and then click on generate. And these are the images that are generated based on my prompt. So what I'm gonna do is navigate down and I'm gonna add a new description because it didn't quite create what I was after. I'm simply gonna add the prompt, add people in the background and then click on regenerate. Okay, so again, this is the image that is generated. It isn't quite what I'm after. So I'm actually gonna exit out of this and then leave this photo as it is. I'm gonna navigate back up to the top and I'm gonna click on this section here and navigate up to settings and then navigate down to background 
and then click on the image. So this is the image I have in here. Then I'm gonna hit AI and then come down and click on reimagine. So based on the content on my page, I wanna see what AI is going to generate if I go ahead and just click on reimagine this image. And again, here are some images that I could use. So I'm gonna exit out of this and this section and then navigate down the page and then click on this text box here and then settings. And then down here, you can see I have this text here for this section. What I can do is navigate over to AI and click here and I can write with AI. I can also improve with AI. And then I have these other quick actions to generate text with AI. I can write and replace, make it better, rephrase, lengthen, shorten, simplify, paraphrase, and more AI options down here. You can see how AI can enhance your workflow and speed up the way that you create content on your website. I'm gonna go ahead and click on improve with AI. Here you can select the content type. I'm happy with paragraph and I'm going to add, talk about our vision as a leading small business website design agency. Then you can navigate down to help AI even further by adding context from this page content or this section content, this module content or no context at all. I'm gonna keep this page content selected and then click generate text. And as you can see, this is the text up here. And I like the content that's been written, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and click on use this text. Now I can also modify with AI by retrying, or I can improve with AI. If I click the drop down, again, I have these quick actions up here to improve this content. Then you can also refine the result if you like by adding an additional prompt here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this text, and that's gonna replace the existing text with my AI generated content. I'm gonna go ahead and add a few spaces and then down here, and I'm happy with that. This is how my content will display. So I'm gonna navigate down and click on confirm. Now what I'm gonna do is try and generate a background image for this section. To do that, I'm gonna navigate up to settings and then navigate down to background and then click on image, background image, and then come down and click on AI and then generate automatically. And the AI is gonna take all the information from your website page, from your website, and create content based on the relevancy of your website. And these are the images that are created. So I could choose to use one of these images in my background if I like. And then again, I have these other options down here. Okay, so I'm gonna exit out of this and then exit out of this section settings. And I'm gonna navigate up to the top and then click on this text element here and then settings. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this widget over here because what I wanna do is change this title to something more compelling using AI. To do that, I'm gonna navigate over to title here and then click on AI and then improve with AI. I need to make sure I have title selected and then I'm gonna navigate over to this AI option, click here and see what AI will generate. And this is what AI has gone ahead and generated because this is a title, this AI generated prompt is not relevant. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this add a compelling title for this page. And because I haven't added any other information, I'm gonna rely on AI and the context from this page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on generate text. And as you can see, AI has generated unleash your digital potential. I'm actually happy with this title, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on use this text. And that's gonna automatically add that AI generated title into my title here within this widget, as well as on my website page. I'm happy with that. So again, you can click on any of the sections as well as the rows and then the elements or widgets inside those rows and you can leverage AI. AI can simply integrate into the way that you build out your website pages. So as you can see with Divi AI, you can ultimately improve your productivity, enhance your creativity and workflows. You can use Divi AI to automatically generate images and text, as well as improve and customize existing content. Again, what you wanna do is spend some time playing around with all of the AI image and text quick actions. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this Divi AI tutorial. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief Divi AI tutorial for beginners. Now, if you have any questions about Divi AI, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.